a lot of class so this is engage 15 part 2 and so just to check your answers if the audit team and firm are not independent so if you were to use your um, audit decision tree hopefully you can get those macros to run so whenever you put a yes or a no um, yes you have more questions or if you put no then it would tell you that you need to issue a disclaimer of an opinion so if you're not independent, you can't issue a valid opinion, and so this would be a disclaimer. So this is kind of like no opinion for a disclaimer um, report. If the income statement is not included in the final financial statements, what kind of report is issued? So we could go back. So do they have, okay, so we say yes, we are independent. Do they have all the financial statements? No, they don't. Was only the cash statement of cash flow missing no the income statement was missing or if the balance sheet was missing was it only that no it wasn't so you need to issue an adverse opinion so they need to have their financial statements in place and so if they don't um, then we can issue an adverse opinion right away um, what if it was just the statement of cash flow statement then you could issue a qualified except for opinion um, so a qualified opinion would be okay if they're missing cash flows but balance sheet and income statement would mean an adverse opinion. So this one would be adverse, number two. <clears throat> number three, statement of cash flows is not included. Okay, that's when we said qualified. If TIP was followed and sufficient, so training independence, due professional care was followed and sufficient appropriate audit, audit evidence was not obtained. There was a limitation of scope that was material but not highly material. So a highly material limitation of scope would give you a disclaimer of an opinion, but a material, just material, would give you a qualified opinion. So remember, um, qualified opinions can happen. Oh, sorry. Let's pull this one up. She got a report. So qualified opinions can happen um, when there's a scope limitation or when they aren't following GAAP, if there's a material departure from or material um, not following um, following generally accounting accepted accounting principles so when they aren't following gap or when you have a limitation of scope that's not highly material but it's material so that's when you'd give a qualified opinion when it's highly material though sufficient appropriate evidence was not obtained and there was a limitation of scope that was highly material that's when you disclaim the opinion so no opinion disclaim the opinion Six, tip and pie are fulfilled and financial statements are fairly stated with gap and misstatements are beneath our materiality threshold. That's when you can give, and there's no emphasis over here, so that's where your standard unqualified opinion comes in. Um, tip and pie are fulfilled and financial statements are not fairly stated with gap, but we do not agree with the departure. The departure is material. Okay, so they're not fairly stated and we do not agree with the departure. The departure is material. What kind of report is issued? So that's where your qualified comes in again. So they are departing from gap. They're departing from gap and it's material, not highly material. If it's highly material, that could be adverse. So this is qualified again. Um, if tip pie are fulfilled and they're not fairly statement and we do not agree with the departure and the departure is highly material. So they're departing from gap and it's very material, maybe even pervasive, uh, probably pervasive. I'd say this would be an adverse opinion. And then which of the following is not one of five circumstances? So you'd need to have a clear idea. So that's our GECDO. So when there's a going concern issue, that's a yes. That's a go. That's a good one. So that's a yes. So don't answer that one. Um, lack of consistent application of GAP. Yes, definitely. Um, I think that's your C. Other auditors, that's your O. Emphasis of a matter, yes. Uh, material departure um, from promulgated widely known accounting principles, that's yes as well. So the only one having misstatements of 7.99 million with a material out of 8 million. So this one would be your correct answer. So maybe if I unhighlight all the other ones, your correct answer would be that's not um, a circumstance where you would adjust the opinion. That would be an unqualified opinion because they have misstatements of 7.99 but that's just under our materiality. So let's go back to that GECDO slide. GECDO. Going concern, emphasis of a matter, consistency, departure, and other auditors. OK, 
Okay, so the only one is D there. Which of, if one of the five circumstances exists, assuming tip and pie are followed and financial statements are fairly stated, including the auditor agrees with any departure, what kind of report is issued? So that if they have those circumstances, that's when we just modify the wording. And so those are your answers for the 10 questions.